No, I do want a simple handshake, but every time, no, I don't, no, it's not that. It's the power handshake. I, I, you, you do it every time. I'm a little guy. Look, I mean, I'm, no, no, I'm no, fat. No, no, I'm fat. I know, but I'm fat. But look at my arms compared to your. It's all here. And there's nothing. I, no, it's not in the arms. It's in the. It's in the grip. It's in, it's in the grip. It's in the grip. It's in the grip, man. I understand that, but you know you have a strong grip. So, come on. No, you don't. You don't. Want, you don't want to know what type of grip it is. That's a good point. That's a real good point. Hey, so you're back, man, and uh, kind of cool. Uh, you know, not just uh, any kind of matchup here. It's uh, the guy that I think most people want to see, even though he's not a, you know, you're not in the main event. Uh, well, you know what? I'm not worried about being a part of the main event. I'm worried about fighting, and so, and uh, and if it just just happens to be Kimbo Slice, I'm there. So, how long ago did you know? Man, uh, you know, I knew, I knew uh, a couple of months ago. Yeah. It's kind of kind of weird, and we had to keep it on the wraps for a while. But you know, I, I for the most part, I kept my mouth shut. <laughs> you did. I, actually, I was around you uh, about a month ago at Red Rock, and you're like, I can't tell you, but you might be going in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So there, there, there was a little hint. So because you know, I I felt like uh, I don't know if they were pre they were pre I think they would protect the show. So yeah. you know, I'm not mad at them guys for protecting the show. All right. So tell people what you've been doing. I, I know you won the fight over the summer, but yeah. you took a long time off after, uh, what, three straight losses in UFC. Were you kind of collecting yourself? Were yeah. you training? What were you doing? You know, I, I, and I, I collected myself uh, to become um, an MMA fighter. You know, I, 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 I just a lot of lots of drilling. You know, lots of drills, 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 and and anytime you are, you know, your, your kids try to come, try to wake you up and get choked out every time they wake you up from me doing so many drills, you know, you arm barring your kids or anything like that. That's when you know you've drilled enough. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, we just took the time out to to, to polish off, polish off what we already knew. Yeah. Now we should say he's nice to his kids too. Yeah, actually, I'm, not, yeah, you, I'm, not, I'm nice to my kids. Yeah. But, I mean, know, you gave a kidney, you know, right? From, yeah, yeah, from, yeah, I gave, gave my daughter, oldest daughter yeah. a kidney. I mean, once you give a kidney, I think you can armbar yeah, them all yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah that's that's real. I can I can armbar any kid in the house. Oh, is that right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or choke somebody until submission. That's how they, <laughs> that's how they go to sleep. So, <laughs> for, for <laughs> I like that. Don't do that to me though. For. Uh, for this matchup, I mean, it's got to be an attractive matchup. You, yeah. you know, I, I know you probably uh, at this point think you're a more well-rounded fighter. You'd like to test yourself against guys who can go to the ground, but we know you want to stand, and and that's that's what he wants to do. That's probably all he can do. Okay. Well, you know, I don't know. We, we have a strategy, and uh, and and that strategy is to is to move in a cage and 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 force him to become an MMA fighter. You know, and that's that's it. You know, that, our plan is to force this guy to be an MMA fighter. Period. So, you know, it, wherever, wherever it goes, I'll be ready for it. Have you seen any of the fight hype at all he was talking about? He's putting his hands up there in a video and said, uh, I hope this mf -er comes up and wants to strike with me. I hope he wants to knock me out. You know what? You know, that's, that's, that's good publicity for me. So, you know, if, he, if I'm, I'm not going to speak negative about him. You know, that's not my style. You know, and, and MMA is, a, is, a, is more about, you know, uh, the, the honor of the sport. And, and, I, and I'm not worried about talking any crap about, about him because, you know, he, he's getting, you know, he he, he, des he deserves um, he deserves better. Has part of his aura the whole time been the look, the intimidation, having guys go in a cage or a ring, and they're afraid even before they start striking with him? People are probably scared of his look and his image and, and the way he's been portrayed in the media. But uh, you know me, I, you know I'm I'm from the streets. I've 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 uh, been doing this for ten years, and and and, and looks don't intimidate me. You know, it, it's it's uh it's it's nothing I'm I'm worried about. They have streets in Omaha. The streets of Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> they're as tough as uh, Miami. I don't know. You know, they're, they're pretty tough out there. But you know, I I wasn't going into uh, backyards or or uh, parking lots and you know starting fights with guys you know for money. You know, I I I, I took care of my own. You know, I, I just I was I was just there. I've been on the streets too, so I know how it is. Right. Well, I fought for free. <laughs> <There you go>. <laughs> <laughs>